Hi everyone and welcome back to Miss Crafts Let's Layer. I am Barbie, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Bullet, Wisconsin. And today I am here to show you take two of this super cute card. Now let me uh, go into some explanation about this. Um, the dogs are silly and the dogs don't have tails because they are representing the blue and red merles of the Australian Shepherd world. <laughs> and um, a breed that is quite, quite uh, loved in my house. Um, we have, today we're using the Happy Tails stamp set. And of course you have the dog and the spots and everything and all these super cute little sentiments that go along with it. So, um, and you can also purchase, and we will be using today, the Dog Builder Punch. Let me see if I can get that to the point where I'll flip it over. Dog Builder Punch, so it punches out um, near the heart. I I'm, haven't exactly tried it yet, um, but I believe it punches the heart, the heart out and it um, also gives you that cute little dog punch. And I'll put that aside for now, real fast. Today papers are the crumb cake that is eight and a half by five and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. A piece of basic gray that is uh, two and a half by five and a half. A piece of whisper white that is um, two by five and a half. We need a scrap piece of paper of whisper white for the puppies. I'm cleaning off today using my way cool Stampin' Spun uh, chamois that is well used. And because this is a photopolymer set, I have my paper pierce mat out so then that way I can get nice clear images stamped here. And to protect that, I'm going to take out my piece of well stamped on scratch paper. <laughs> um, we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you how to use the silicone craft sheet to get a reversed image. Stamp or ink pads today are the Memento Tuxedo Black. We're also using Cherry Cobbler and Early Espresso. And then we're getting into our markers today. And we're going to be using the um, Crumb Cake Marker. One is going one way, the other one is going the other. The Crumb Cake Marker and the Smoky Slate Marker. So, to get into all of our stampy, stampy funness, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the Friends Forever sentiments straight in the middle of the two, the Whisper White sh uh, strip. And hopefully I'm not going to dip my finger in ink because that just... And as centered as possible. And I'm going to cover that up for now because I'm going to... You know what, I'm not going to cover that up right now. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the puppies on the scrap sheet of paper. So I have my scrap sheet of paper, and the first one's going to be pretty straightforward, quite literally. I'll clean him off a little bit better. Not that I'm afraid that it's going to get other ink on my ink pad, saying that this is the black but because of the fact that I didn't want a weird stamp image. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that puppy here. And punch him out quick. Oh wait, no, I'm not going to punch him out quick. See, I'm all in a tizzer. The first take of this card, I got two-thirds of the way done and it decided to turn off on me and then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp him in here with the black as best as possible but as we know our Merle's have different colorings so in the Merle community we get away with that Of course, my baby is not a Merle. She has the black tri of Australian Shepherds. So, 
real fast I will show you how to use your silicone sheet now to go ahead and flip that around so I am going to go ahead and punch out a reversed puppy put that stuff off to the side reversed puppy early espresso and your silicone craft sheet a, an actual damp um, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. baby wipe seems to work a little bit better anyway clean these guys off real fast and my chamois early espresso and we're gonna go ahead and flip this over so it's on the the non bumpy side stamp a puppy and then we're gonna take our cutout here and go put him as best as possible right over that stamped image and we're going to put some pressure down on here and there's a stamped puppy clean off your clean the extra um, ink off of your um, silicone craft sheet and now we're going to go ahead and stamp the spot now I've noticed that this kind of has a little bit of a static cling on it, so we're going to try to do this gracefully here. I'm battling static cling right now, so it wants to jump, the piece of, or the puppy wants to jump up onto the silicone craft sheet which is fine because we still made a nice a nice uh, image there and so now we're done with the silicone craft sheet and we can move this puppy over saying that I have the early espresso out now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the paw print above the friends forever Oh, and get my finger in it. See how this works? Embellishment time. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my, um, the front of the card, and I'm going to put paw prints down the top and the bottom. So pretty quick and easy it's a it looks like it's a lot of work of uh, stamping but it goes by pretty quick here I might actually make it go faster for I don't know, maybe not I don't know And I want one a little bit off the paper because that's the way I like to stamp. And then I'm going to flip it over real fast and do the same thing going the opposite direction on the top part of, this paper, of the card here. And then I will show you how I colored in the merle. And while I'm doing this, Aria is deciding to chew on her pillow. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to take out my cherry cobbler 
and head back. Oh, I forgot one paw print. Jerry Cobbler, my the heart, and I am gonna go ahead and stamp the heart above the friends forever, and then another heart down in the bottom corner, uh, left hand corner. And that's it for the Cherry Cobbler. Gonna, with the Early Espresso, one more little pop print on the top corner. And then the puppy bow, the bones for the puppy, one on each of the opposite corners. So we have two of each stamp image in various places. Last part to this card real fast here is the coloring in of the puppies. So we have the beginning of the red merle here and the beginning of the blue merle so we have our the beginning of our red merle here, the beginning of our blue merle here, and this is where our markers come in. So I'm going to go ahead and start coloring these guys in. Now the paws are usually white. Not always, but it's general that the paws are white. And then... Um, they have various white markings or um, other colors. So, and the blue merles are, have, are known to have some tan on them as well. So I'm gonna get a little artistic with my blue merle today, I think. Some of them have white tummies, some of them don't. Australian Shepherds are just beautiful dogs and so smart. So I'm going to go ahead and color them in. I'm going to leave a little bit of white on their muzzle, I think. So there is the Red Merle, and like I said, I think I'm going to get a little bit artistic here. I'm going to give these, him, just the, the Blue Merle just a little bit of tan. And then go over to the Smoky Slate. So he has the crumb cake on there. Head over to the Smoky Slate. And color him in with a smoky slate. You know, I just want to do a little bit more of the crumb cake on his back legs, too. All right, and then with the snips, because unlike mine, who has her tail, a lot of them get their tails docked when they're puppies. So to keep up with the... perceived notion. I'm going to go ahead and take that tail off. I just followed right around the cor the curve to the um, to the punch. And now we're all ready to layer. I've got to figure out what I want to do to <laughs> save that particular my snail.
So, bring out the snail. And this gets centered on the front, or on the, the basic gray strip. Basic gray strip gets layered on the front of the crumb cake. Better make sure this is going the right way. Don't want to put your stuff upside down. And then I bump these guys up on dimensionals. I'm <clears throat> right now trying to use up all of my dimensionals. So this doesn't, this isn't as sad as it looks. I just try to get as many of my dimensionals used as possible. And the outside part is perfect still. So it does all the same stuff as a full dimensional. So why not use it? No waste. <laughs> I'm a no waste kind of girl. Come on. And then go ahead and get these dimensional backs off quick. And that is how I made this card. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> If I could speak this morning, not enough coffee for a Saturday morning, apparently. So, um, if you did like this, please like, share, and subscribe. I have plenty more videos on my YouTube here to watch as far as fun stuff. Um, celebration, uh, this is technically, this will be uploaded on February 29th. It was supposed to be up yesterday on Friday, um, but I had issues with this card. Still had issues with this card today, but... We made it through um, saying that today is an extra day for February we have now all of March remaining for celebration so if you would um, as far as celebration goes if you put an order in uh, $50 um, $50 or $100 depending on the item you want in the celebration um, you earn that free so um, if you are still wanting to order I have my hostess code for February is going to be in the description below as well as my March hostess code so then that way you can become uh, you can see if you can be a mystery hostess so um, also you get a thank you gift from me as well for um, for placing an order through me and you never know you might just get one of these cute cards coming at you in the mail so I hope you enjoyed this again, and um, please like, share, subscribe, and be sure to watch more. And until next time.